First into the tank tonight, a husband and wife team, Glenn and Julianne, with an invention that takes some of the mess out of parenthood. Our product is one that parents all over Australia will love. And we just can't wait to go in there and speak to the sharks. Hello Sharks, my name's Julianne and this is my husband Glenn and we are the owners and inventors of Subo the Food Bottle. Most parents would agree that kids' mealtime can be the most stressful part of the day. We invented Subo out of necessity. We're a busy family of five and we made our own homemade foods. So we invented a product that's revolutionising feeding on the go. Subo is the world's first non-squeeze food bottle, which means young children can feed themselves safely and independently without the risk of a squeezy mess. So how do you get food out of a non-squeeze bottle? The food sits on top of a platform, and as you sip on the soft silicon spout, the platform automatically moves up the bottle. Once it's finished, it's easily disassembled for cleaning and to refill. Subo is great for pureed fruit and vegetables, smoothies and yogurt, and even tin spaghetti and wheat bix. Imagine feeding your kids yogurt on the go, like in the back of the car or in the pram while you're shopping, and not having to clean up a mess afterward. Mm. We're asking for $120,000 in exchange for 12% equity in our business. So sharks, let's create a feeding frenzy, one mess-free meal at a time. Oh, lovely. Well done. Well, Great job. Julianne and Glenn. Yes. yes. Great name. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're well asking done. for $120,000 yes. for 12% of the business, yes. which adds up to a value of a million dollars. Yes. I don't quite understand, how do you get spaghetti yeah. out of the, the top? So it's quite a, a large opening, it's 12 mil, mm. so you can get chunky right. foods through. Steve's um, using it. Yeah, no, it's yeah. good. Yeah, I'm, so. I'm about to put two 40-month-olds uh, on an aircraft for 23 hours. Perfect. Yeah. Which is about the stupidest thing I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> to, actually, to actually fill it, what would you do to fill it? So I get it like this. Yeah, can okay. I show you? Yeah, please. Can I pull Beth. one apart and show yep. you? Oh, oh, shit. Nice stuff. Nice. It's all right. That was a demonstration. That was yeah. really yeah. good. Didn't break. No. no. There you go. I've already sucked on it. Oh, that's all right. I trust you. <laughs> oh, you've got boys germs. Shark germs. So when the food finishes, the platform comes to the top. You can easily disassemble it. So the platform comes out. And then essentially you've just got a tube. It's designed so the platform pushes the food out. Uh, you'll notice in the bottom there is a one-way valve. So that allows air to come into the tube, which allows the platform to move up the bottle. Um, but it stops air from escaping at the bottom of the bottle. Wow. This is an incredible design. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Absolutely you incredible. Much. This is great. It is really good. That valve is the key. That's the major that's source the of this thing, isn't it? So yeah. what, where did, what was the inspiration for that? Jules came out of the shower one day holding an old toothpaste, old toothpaste container. container. You know, the pump pack yeah, toothpaste yeah, yeah. container. Yeah. Okay. And um, uh, kind of looked at her like she was, was mad. mad. And then <laughs> we got the hacks out. Uh, cut apart the, the oh, toothpaste yeah. container, put some duct tape on it, created our own homemade prototype. What's your key market for this? Kids can use it from six months because they use the, the sucking reflex, which is mm. the first reflex. And then it goes up to what? Any it's, age. So we have adults using it as well for protein shakes, smoothies. And is there a patent on it? Yep. Yeah, so we've got a uh, patent pending in 38 countries as well as our trademarks. Yeah. Well done. We manufacture here in, in Australia. Nice, whereabouts? In Melbourne. In Melbourne. I like the colours, let's talk about the numbers. Okay, so it costs us $7 to make this product. Yeah. Our recommended retail is $29.95. Oh. Yeah. So in the first 12 months, we sold 2,500 of these bottles. How much is that in dollars? So revenue was 55000 how much for next year? So we think this year that we can sell 7,000 yeah. bottles, units. So 165,000 yes. in revenue? Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's great. How much have you spent to date on this product? So it's 580,000. Lord. Excuse me. You've spent $580,000. Yes. Getting to this point. That's what's been spent on the project. We've been lucky enough to have some government grant programs that we've been successful in obtaining. Okay, so, so how much was your cash and how much was grant cash? Yep. We spent 260 of our own savings and 320 we raised wow. through grant programs. That's commitment. That is commitment. 
What, what do you want from a shark? You want 120,000 bucks. What do you want from a shark? Uh, your expertise. Our biggest challenge is product awareness. Not a lot of people know about this bottle, and we want to get the product out there on shelves so that people can see it and sell it. To, you know, multinational exporting, there's other markets that we can also go into. We just teamed up with RMIT in Melbourne, and they're looking at the aged care industry. So I gather that's dementia patients, or what? Um, a lot of patients have to have thickened liquids, um, so they thought it'd be perfect um, for that. <laughs> Sitting there watching Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The, ah, the ah. colour scheme might have to change for the adult market. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Certainly. You've, you've, got, you've got the tube of food here, you've got the tube of beer here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's efficiency, Steve. <laughs> what, do you, what do you need to get me? What do I need to do to get you? I'm in. I'm on your journey. I've got a pair of 30-month-olds. Uh, this, this to me is a godsend. I think this is just amazing. It's so well built. So let's just talk about the future. You name your price. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm with you, 120, 12%. I'm in. I'm on your journey. Done. <laughs> what the hell? How are you thinking about that? Uh, what do you think? Fantastic. That was excellent. Thank you very much for the offer. OK, well, that's what you were asked for, so one shark in. I am not <laughs> joking. I have never seen him like this. That's amazing. Are you going to take his offer and we'll just we'll keep going? We'll have to see what everyone yeah, else... Because <laughs> others might want to match and may have more expertise in getting oh, things expertise. made. Here we go. Steve's yeah, yeah. about to Grab be the grumpy. Vet. Grab the vet. He knows how to do yoghurt. It's on. So one of my companies do a lot... There's a lot of dealings online. Great. So are you making an offer? They only come into deals when I get so excited. Otherwise, they just ignore you. So they're just a bunch of copycats. You know, what are you doing? I've never seen... Stephen Baxter, the grumpy bastard. Oh, fair dinkum. With so much enthusiasm, and I just don't want to complicate this because I've pinched a few deals off him this season. Oh, he's obviously giving you an offer for his kids. I'm not going to get in the way. I'm out. Thank, Thank you. you. Julianne and Glenn, you're impressive, your product's impressive, but I don't think I can compete with Steve's offer. I'm out. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. I think he's made a great offer. I think you've made a fantastic product. I wanted to make a deal with you. It's nowhere near as good as Steve's offer. I'm out. Thank you. We're going to blow this up. We're going to set it on fire. We're going to take the world on. We are going to just, we are going to monster and destroy things. So you can just ditch Naomi and just take my offer. Naomi, That'd be fantastic. what are you going to do? Are we competing with Steve, or are we moving Oh, on? I feel like just having some fun. All right, OK. But I don't think that's fair in business. Business is serious, and you've put a lot of money into this, energy and effort. I have never seen him that animated. You have got a great offer. So for this deal, I'm out. Thank Thanks, you very Anna. much. One off the left, what are you going to do? Yeah, definitely take Steve's offer. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Glenn, aside yeah, from the name, right. fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Do yourself very a much. deal, well done. Thank you very very impressive. Much. Well Thank done, you very guys. much. Thank take you. Care. Bye bye. We're going to leave oh, Steve you. to just suck it up. He's, he's uh, <laughs> taking some samples. Right. Thank, Thank you. Bye bye. Suckers, hey. you missed out. I couldn't believe it. Suckers, yeah. Good You're the you. sucker. Suckers. I have That's right. never seen you I that know. enthusiastic. 300,000 babies born in Australia every year. I might be on one of these at the end of my days. I started on one, now I might be one now. So. Beautiful. The thing I love about the sharks and all of us is we've been together for a long time. What's the stop button? Let me just hide my feet. So what I do love is that, you know, we all still have a laugh. The entrepreneur shouldn't be worried about us laughing. I'm feeling the core, I'm feeling the core. <laughs> Quite often we're laughing at each other, not them. Is that good for my butt muscles too? Absolutely, good for glutes. Because, you know, at my age, that's very important. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, laugh, you've got to laugh. You know, what a boring journey if you're not laughing through this journey. <laughs> It's a pretty old jovial environment. I don't think we're ever that serious, to be honest, until sort of later in the pitch. In actual fact, I was involved with Hawthorne for many years. Was she the water girl, or what was she? Don't be so patronising. Bit of a lease of life. You, you sort of hang around young people doing really crazy stuff, and it takes a few years off you. <laughs> Jedi. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Not a Jedi. Lights, please.
What kid doesn't like a goal in the dark feature? So my offer is $250,000 for 40% equity. That's a bloody good offer. I'd love to take the offer. Thanks, Barney. Excellent. Well, Congratulations. And in Australia, almost two out of three adults are pregnant. Over 50 years of overweight or obese. And that statistic now in children is one in four. These mums want to help keep our kids healthy. I think evaluation's up for negotiation. But is it achievable? I'll be that polite, otherwise you'd call it nuts. Next into the tank, two concerned mums cooking up a plan to create a generation of young chefs. Hi, I'm Joanne Boskell. And I'm Holly Bowl. And together we own 100% of Get Kids Cooking. Today we are seeking $150,000 investment for a 10% share of our company. In Australia, almost two out of three adults are overweight or obese. And that statistic now in children is one in four, almost a quarter. Research has shown that one of the top ways to combat this in Australian children is to teach them food education in primary schools. So Holly and I have delivered 550 hands-on cooking classes for more than 15,000 primary school students. Then we met with the Department of Education, the Department of Health, and we developed a curriculum-linked cooking program that is fun, cost-effective and scalable and tailored to Australian primary schools, teachers and students. So in Australia, there are more than two million primary school aged children in over six and a half thousand primary schools. And initially we are targeting 10% of that market. So let's show you a little bit about what Kids Cooking at School is. It's made up of a few components. The first one is called the kitchen cart. The kitchen cart is a fully portable commercial grade kitchen. It can be wheeled out into anywhere in a school. It has a commercial oven for speedy baking times, an induction cooktop for safety, and even includes the kitchen sink. Another component of Get Kids Cooking at School is Cook in a Box. These are modules, a bit like a subscription, and we send these out to schools and they have in them everything that is required for a teacher to run a cooking class. We have packaged this together for a school to be able to buy this over a period of time. So a school with an average of 400 students would purchase this over a five year period and the cost for that would be $85 per student per year. And based on 10% of the market in Australia, that equates to a revenue per annum of $22 million. Well done, Joanne Holly. That's 150,000 for 10%. So you're valuing your business at 1.5 million. Correct. Pretty uh, significant valuation. G'day, Holly and Joanne. I'm Steve. How are you doing? Where, whereabouts are you from? What state? Yeah, we're based here in New South Wales. New South Wales, okay. Sydney's northern beaches. How do you measure the business? And we'll, 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 we'll dig down from there. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. What we're looking to deliver in this next financial year is around 450 to $500,000 and we've done a plan out um, for the next five years as well. So that grows from half a million to one million, and then it grows to five million, and then 10, and then the 22. So to get to your wonderful 22 million, it's a big number, I like it. Um, that's 650 schools roughly, Correct, which yes. is your 10% of six and a half mm -hmm. thousand schools. You're a very impressive pair. You, I mean, frankly, I'm sitting here thinking, how could I help you? You could seem to have it all nailed. <laughs> Thank you. The only thing I'm struggling with is your valuation. 1.5 million, how did you come about that? Mm -hmm. So we did do a little bit of research into valuing the business and we were advised to take a conservative look at what we've done to date, um, the orders that we have and the inquiries that we have and make a projection from there. I think your valuation's up for negotiation. I'll be that polite, otherwise you'd call it nuts. Um, but I really like what you do. And I'll see what the other sharks are going to do. When it comes to an investment, I look at how can I make that investment amplify through what I know, who I know, and what I can contribute. And I, I don't particularly know the education network except my own experience. I think you're really great. But I'm out. Okay, thank Thanks, you. Naomi. Thanks for your consideration.
I've got to say, you know, my second oldest son just left school this year and he can barely boil an egg, let alone pasta. Yeah. I find the education department not teaching the kids basic things like budgeting and cooking, just things that they need. So I love your model. I was sitting here trying to work out if I could do a deal and how I could do a deal. And when I do the numbers, the only way I could do a deal would be too big of taking a proportion of your equity. Yeah, he said it was nuts. It probably is the evaluation of where you are right now because you're not allowing for execution risk. Mm -hmm. So um, unfortunately, I'm out due to the valuation. But good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Look, I love what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. And, you know, you tick the boxes. Education, food, which is important to all of us, health. I can see how you'll be influencing diets of kids. It's great. As an investor, I look at it and I just wonder what value I can add. It's, you know, I, I think I hate being dumb money, if you understand the expression, and I think all I'd be is dumb money. <laughs> so for those reasons, I'm out. Steve. I'll stop being so gutless I make you an offer. Um, but it is, it's going to highlight exactly what Janine said. So I'll give you the, uh, the 150,000 bucks for, um, you probably went to wish you had a chair, 40%. I, I do like this. I want to see something happen out of it. I want to see an offer out there at least. Um, and I'm not trying to although I'm sure I'll get reminded of this later on. I'm not trying to bottom feed, I'm not, but I truly think the stage you're at, this is, this is an appropriate way to get, a, to get a risk discount into what you're asking for. Playing in a glass house here, mate. I am, you know, how much? <laughs> that is I'm so not. glass house. I just quote, unquote, I'm not trying to bottom but feed. But I am, yeah, however. <laughs> on that thought, <laughs> it is a bottom feed. Glenn, would you like to have a go? Oh, I'd love to, Andrew. Look, um, I love what you're doing because it's socially important as well as you're actually working out how to make some money out of it as well, which is not a bad thing. It's okay that you actually do your passion and you make some money out of it. Uh, my offer, straight up, I'm, I'm in. 150K for 30%. What you get is someone who understands the education side quite well, but also someone who shares your passionate belief and want absolutely to support and share your journey. In the blue corner, we have Steve at $150,000, 40%. And in the red corner, we have Glenn, 150000 at 30%. Guys, you're welcome to countering. Um, I, I think I'm, I'm fully priced at 40%. At 40%. Thank you. I think we'd like to make a counteroffer for 20%. Gee, you're tough. <laughs> you wouldn't want to partner with anyone who wasn't. <laughs> so 20%. <laughs> yes. What is it going to be, Glenn? <laughs> you, got, you got these ladies' lives in your hands. So that values it at, at uh, basically a five times next year earnings on the hope that you guys will deliver. It's when, we deliver. when we deliver. When we deliver. When we deliver. When you deliver. Uh, when you deliver. We're ready to go. <laughs> Where's the coin? Oh, oh. Job. That's not how I'm going to take it. it. I'm going to take it. Fantastic. Thank well you. Done. Thank you very much. Well Thank done. Looking forward to working Thank with you. you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank well you. Done. Thank you. Wow, well, we're going to have healthier kids next year. That's good. They are pretty impressive, though. Oh, they were amazing. Yeah, they were, they were impressive. We even got the shark we wanted. Very happy. Just means that we can now truly scale this business and get it out to kids That's everywhere. Good. I've got certain things I really don't like investing in. I know businesses I think are pretty spurious, like when all the, the culinary Marxists come out and want me to eat vegan, all that sort of crap. I am the founder of Up and Coming Functional Foods Company, Fermentanicals, which is short for Fermented Botanicals. This honestly looks like something you'd find in a hospital. It's very pleasant, actually. Thanks. What I love about Steve is you always know what he's thinking because Steve has his brain on loudspeaker. The Surf Meal Co. We make surfing food with a purpose. Mate, I tried it, um, didn't like it. The reality is 
but the fact that it is not full of sugar, Steve won't like it at all. So. The ketogenic approach swaps out carbs and uses fat for fuel. It is about eating pork belly, beef jerky. Did you hear that? Beef jerky, Steve. If it used to live, eat it. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes good. Thank you. I don't like the tastes. Next into the tank is Crack, who's come up with a revolutionary fast food concept. I can do this business myself, but with a shark's help, we can take on the world. I hope you're hungry, sharks. Every day I turn on social media and I see that they've got some crazy new food trend coming out of London or Japan or LA. I want this to be the crazy new food trend that's coming out of Melbourne. Hello Sharks, my name is Craig Carrick. I'm here today to talk to you about my very new business, Donuts. I'm here seeking $100,000 for 20% of my company and product. A donut is a combination of a donut and a chicken nugget. Oh. Ah. <laughs> is it? Chicken nugget donut. Yes! Sir. Nothing sweet about it. An all, all savoury product. It's 98% chicken. That chicken's got our unique and top secret spice mix that goes through it. Oh. It's got then a cornflake and panko crumb and three different sauces. A cheesy Dijon bechamel, a golden Japanese curry and mozzarella, a hot chilli, or you can have it just on its own. You've got 11 secret inclined. herbs and spices? Way more than 11. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not changing the world with this product. I'm giving something that's fun, it's easy to understand, people get it straight away. And I'm trying to do it as ethically as I can as well. All our chicken is free range and chemical and hormone free. I would invite you to try a donug, love a donug, and welcome any questions. So thank you, Craig. So thank that's $100,000 for 20%, so you're valuing your business at $500,000. That's correct. Great, let's try the product. Just stand back, Steve's gonna knock you out of the way. <laughs> You want to go first? Oh then? yeah. Then, then now, this is it. In four years, this is the first time I've actually been served my food first. Is this the happiest I've ever seen you? <laughs> it's fantastic. Who's doing the cooking? This is my lovely wife, Rachel. Oh really, Rachel? Hi. Good job. Thank you very much. Why? Why is she doing the cooking? She's best at it. I've been a chef for 15 years, and he came up with a concept. I made it work to his taste. I also think it tastes different. Like, I wouldn't eat a chicken nugget, and I'd definitely eat that. And it is free range, so you're kind of midships of something naughty, but still being good for the planet. This is it? something different. It's made, it's made with care. It's made, it's a chef's recipe. So you're the next Colonel Sanders. You even got the beard all ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what do you charge? Nine dollars per donut. Nine bucks for one of these? Wow. I intend to move the price point up to twelve dollars for a donut oh. with all the sauce. Seriously? Huge. I like you. You're mercenary. You're fantastic. What, why, why donut? So I called it a donut, just kind of tongue in cheek, and I went on the social media sites and searched the hashtag for it, and there was nothing there. It's fun. People go, what is it? It's a donut and a nugget. It's a fun looking word. It's an unusual sounding word. Cost of goods on $9. So when we're making them ourselves, it's $2.20. Wow. At manufacturing stage, it'll be $4 per unit. Nice. So sales, give me an event that you were at and what did you sell in a day? I've only done two events so far. Two events? I sold a thousand donuts at nine dollars a go. Oh wow. It cost me six grand to set it up and get it running. Bloody good sales. So I've, uh, I've turned over 21. Well done. I've spent an extra four and I'm sitting with eight in the ten at the moment after two events. Have you got a number of events lined up? I've just slotted in an event with one of Australia's largest shopping centres to be the, the feature food item. Massive food traffic, ma massive PR behind it, and I'll hopefully sell a thousand a day. That works out at some good numbers for me. <laughs> so why do you need an investor? Because I want to take it to the next level. I want to go to the manufacturing stage. I've been working with a manufacturer so far, trying to get a prototype together. They're doing about 30 tonnes of manufacturing a day, um, so they're, they're pretty well versed at this. What are you going to do with 100,000 bucks? 100,000 basically kickstarts the process. 50 grand gets me my first 10,000 donuts made. That's 40 grand for the manufacturer, 10 grand for the cold storage, logistics, boxes, warehousing. Um, 40 grand for a proper event setup, something that looks great and is enticing that I can roll out wherever I want. And the 10 grand is from insurances and, and branding and stuff in it and amongst that. It's a very uncomplicated product, right? You mince up some chicken, 
throw some spice in, shape it. Throwing some spice in is a, is a bit of an understatement, you know, it's a, that's a bit of an insult to the chef, you know. It's insulting. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is unique as a jelly baby, you know, it's a piece of jelly shaped like a baby <laughs> that we eat. You know, people are looking for a, a full meal, and I think it is a whole meal, like it's quite substantial. In Melbourne, where I live, you can get out for less than 14 bucks for a burger nowadays in most places. I can see this really working overseas, and in the States and in London, Japan, Asia. I can see that being something. I'm sitting here asking myself, is it franchise? Is it partly frozen cooked at home? The execution risk is huge. There's a million moving parts to get this from being a nice brand to something that's a really big business. And I ask myself, am I the guy to work with you and get you there? And the answer is no. So I wish you well, but I'm out. Where I've moved to in my investing in, in food and food tech is really in the, the wellness space. If you'd come on with a, a vegan, paleo, organic, nut-free, sugar-free, savoury snack, I'd probably go with you. Best of luck, Craig, Rachel. I have no doubt you're going to have a lot of fun with this, but I'm out. Thank you for your time. Cheers. I've tried it. You know, I, I want this to work, believe me. I, I'm, I'm tired of all the health food rubbish that comes on this show, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to invest. I'm keen to see you somewhere in the future. Mm -hmm. I wish you all the best and, and thanks for coming in. But well, I, thanks I, um... for your support. Thanks for your excitement at the start. <laughs> um, the events show that your sales are good. That shows the consumer wants it. So there's, there's a lot to like. I think you're onto something. But you haven't proven your tenacity. And being in the food industry, it's a grind, and it's that determination that you need to take to get it to the next level. Please come back next year, please, because I actually think you're onto something. But I'm out. Cheers. And then there was one. She's wearing my colours. Craig, I don't think you need to come back next year because I'm about to make you an offer. Ooh, here we go. So, um... But you're not going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> the offer I'm going to put to you is $100,000 for a quarter of your business. Phew. Oh, please. What are you going to do? Um... It's about getting donuts sold here at every sporting ground, every servo, every fish and chip shop. So I'd like to take that offer. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I didn't see that coming. I promise you, we have just surprised everybody here. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be forward to it. Thank you. Right outcome. <laughs> All the best. Well done. The donut is going to join the hamburger in perpetuity. I surprised all of you. Actually, yeah. you did. <laughs> well you did. None of you saw that coming. Not what I expected. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, the, the mighty donut show right. I just know how hard it is to get innovation in that quick service space. For me, I just went, they just need longer. But hey, I might do a deal with you later. I just wanted to surprise you all. <laughs> Crazy.